it. Hansen sets a screen for May. Pass to Ilyasova. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Chance here now for a three-point play. Those defenders look like they're out of gas. I mean, they're getting pushed around on the low block. Well, their energy is lacking. And they've got to start playing harder and battle down in the paint. Ersan Ilyasova in his seventh season with the Bucks, the only player drafted in 2005 who's still with his original team. They're growing tired of the team's losing, it's rumored that uh, last season anyway, he asked for a trade. Milwaukee with the ball. Following the bucket by the Pistons. Kicks it to Doug. Six on the shot clock. It's Mayo on the wing. Corner shot. Rebounded by Jackson. Upside Jackson. Up in ball, and the buzzer Peters good. And an ideal finish to the quarter for them as he drains it at the buzzer. Boy, I like the fact he didn't rush it at all. Fantastic shot. And that does it for the first quarter. Pistons lead by six. And we'll get it going after this from the Bradley Center. All right, the second quarter beginning in just a moment. And before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen so far from Detroit? The defense was really impressive there, guys, in that first quarter. They came out focused right from the beginning. And, Steve, that's a big part of why they're on top right now. Inside, it's Ilyasova and Pachulia. Jared Bayless is out there with Mayo. And it's Dudley in at the small forward. That's the five on the floor for the Bucks. Now here's Jackson. They lead by six, their biggest margin. Well, I'm shocked he didn't make that one. He usually knocks that one down with ease. Dish now to Ilyasova. Dudley the pass to Mayo. A 17 footer. Bank shot, no good. Pistons leading by six. Drummond sets the screen for Jackson. The kick out to Williams. Second chance shot. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance to make it three. Guys, he's actually indefatigable. He never gives in, never gives up on a play, and that's what it takes to be a great offensive rebounder. You've got to be relentless. Andre Drummond still just 21 years of age. The first one and done player in UConn's storied basketball history. And the Pistons staff say he's a sponge. Whether it's breaking down video with assistance or honing his skills, he is really a hard worker. And Milwaukee calls their first time out of the game. And Drummond came in as the youngest player in the league, Mark. Certainly pretty raw skill one. Yeah, but you could see the potential. And the biggest thing there, Kevin, was that he had a willingness to work. He came in early as rookie year to train. And last season, he leaned on the new rookies to do the same thing, uh, showing some leadership. The most checking for Andre Drummond. No good that time either. Well, he's wide open there, but uh, really struggles from that range. Maybe there's a reason he's open. Jackson kicks to Prince. Left side, Jackson. Five on the clock. And misses it off the right side of the rim. Bucks trail by nine. Passes it to Dub. Outside Mayo. Fires it up. Milwaukee, no good that time either. For Detroit, they've gotten only one of their first four shots in the second quarter to drop. Over in the corner, Williams. A chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. 
The Bucs have gone 0 4 in the second quarter. Obviously, that needs to change. Here's the screen. In the corner, Mayo with it. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. Out of bounds. Detroit takes possession. Where was he going with that pass? I mean, that's just an awful turnover. A different look for Milwaukee. Andrews checked in for Ilya Sofa. Onda Takumbo comes in for Jared Douglas. And it's Carter Williams in for Jared Bayless. Double team on Williams. No good with the layup. Well, he's been off his game this quarter just a bit. Hasn't been able to get a whole lot to go so far. Prince kicks to Caldwell Pope. And the pass to Jackson. Williams, a screen on Carter Williams. Kicks it out to Prince. Offline with his three. Bucks trailed by nine. And there's the feet to Carter Williams. Parker kicks to Mayo. Here's Zonda to Gumbo. Looking to end the drought. Shot by Mayo is no good. He slipped into quite a funk here, Clark. I think that's a good word to describe it. I mean, the basket is looking awfully small to him at the moment. Now here's Jackson. He kicks it to Monroe. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. Well, Greg Monroe, good size and skill at the power forward position. Loves to operate from the high post where he can make plays for others or attack off the dribble. He's off on the first. And Monroe is an elusive left-hander. He's great at driving and getting to the basket. I'm not really an elite athlete, but well, I tell you, with his size and ball handling ability, he's more than capable. The Bucks making a switch here. Middleton's checked in. Karan Butler is checked in for Detroit. From the sideline, let's catch up with Doris Burke. Well, for the Bucks, Giannis Antetokounmpo, basketball enabled him to lift his family from poverty in Greece, but his motivation goes beyond the financial. He said, I'm addicted to this game. It's my life. And then added, I don't want to be a good player. I want to be a great one. Kevin, he's on his way. Tremendous potential, Doris. Thank you. Here's Prince after the basket by Milwaukee. Rebound by Parker. Parker's got five rebounds tonight. And Monroe developing his mid-range jump shot, Steve, to complete his face of arsenal. Well, he's made strides. I mean, it's a little concerning to see his free throw percentage falling over the last two seasons, but with that jump shot is key to keeping his driving lanes open. Yeah, trying to put a little mustard on the hot dog there. That, that was just, just convert the shot. Come on. Outside Jackson. Pass to Monroe. Monroe left side. Let's it go from 11. That's short off the rim. He worked himself into a really good position there, right near the basket. That's the look he wanted. Jackson dishes to Butler. In low to Monroe. That doesn't go either for Monroe. Yeah, excellent interior defense there. Good rotations. No doubt about it, Steve. He's a real presence inside. Takes up a lot of space. Now here's Carter Williams. Shot from the wing. Detroit with the rebound. Well, I think he had all the space he needed. He just couldn't find the bottom of the net. Jackson kicks to Prince. Shot to end this cold run. Goes back up. And it's laid in by Monroe. Monroe's got the lead up to 10 now for the Pistons. Well, it's obvious the difference in this quarter has been their dominance on the offensive boards. Yeah, I think you're right, Clark. A lot of second chance points, and they're not resting on their lead. They're really being aggressive and attacking the lane. Parker passes to Carter Williams. 
and not a good shot for him. They can get better looks than that. Prince setting a pick for Jackson. Prince outside. He dishes it to Butler. Out to the wing. Prince with a screen on Carter Williams. Back to Butler. Fires the three. Bucks trail by 10. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time getting the lid off the basket so far. Carter Williams hits to Middleton. Parker outside. Fighters from 14. A rebound by Prince. Prince has got three rebounds now in this one. Well, Tayshawn. Prince, a terrific player in his time with that championship Detroit Pistons team in years past, but his decline over the last five years has been noticeable. Ever since he hit 30, it's been downhill. Now a timeout called by Detroit. And for Prince, now 34 years of age, with this season and next left on his country. Yeah, still a smart veteran who doesn't make many mistakes, but it's certainly clear that his best days are behind. The Bucks making a switch here. Henson's checked in. And a different look here for the Pistons. Andre Drummond's checked in for Monroe. Williams comes in for Tayshawn Prince. Jody Meeks, he's checked in for Caldwell Pope. And it's Jennings in for Reggie Jackson. Here's Meeks. Ten-point lead. This is their biggest. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. Well, Andre Drummond was kind of a late bloomer when it came to basketball, really. He was pretty uncoordinated as a kid. He struggled to make layups early on. It wasn't until around the age of 14 that he really started to show some problems. And for Drummond, a different upbringing than a lot of blue chippers. His mother's focus was squarely on academics and his character, not on a future in the NBA. In fact, one time he was supposed to attend a basketball camp hosted by LeBron James, but his mother held him out because he'd forgotten to do his laundry. This is the Middleton. Henson in the post, working on Williams. And that one's good. Henson's got it back down to within single digits for the Bucks. And you look at Drummond Clark, do you think his upbringing kept him grounded? I do, Kevin. I mean, we're all products of how we've been raised. In some ways, I think it threw off talent evaluators because he lacked that obvious overt ego and confidence, but that belied a hunger to be good, and we're seeing that work pay off. That's good. That is a very low percentage shot, Kevin, but it's the result they were looking for at the end of the day. And Middleton kicks to Parker. Oh, look out! Oh, 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 oh. Even when they're down, he's still looking to do the spectacular. And he pulled it off. Well, maybe, yeah, maybe this is the best time to do it. Yeah, I agree. I mean, now's when they need a little spark anyway. Now here's Jennings, here's Butler, Milwaukee with the rebound. Parker's got six rebounds in the game. Middleton dishes to Carter Williams. Parker kicks to Honda Takumba. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Detroit leading by eight. Drummond sets the screen for Jennings. Outside Williams. Here's Drummond. He's tightly guarded. Ball's knocked loose. He had stolen by to Takumbo. Here's Middleton. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Parker. Middleton's got his second basket. And here are the Pistons. They've led by as much as 10. And here's Jennings. Outside, Meeks. Count that one. 